Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a really quick drugstore haul. I didn't purchase that many things and I only got like two makeup-y type things so I'm gonna start with those in case that's all you really care about. The rest is kind of, they're beauty related but I haven't done a drugstore haul in so long and I thought I have some pretty decent products to talk about so I might as well you know do a little haul for you guys. Um, I don't actually shop at the drugstore that much for makeup so it's kind of rare for me to do drugstore hauls. I used to do them all the time when I first started so getting started the first thing I purchased since a lot of you recommended it to me um, when I mentioned that I had sampled it in my vlog my follow me around vlog is the Garnier BB cream and this is in light to medium and so far I'm really loving it it's extremely sheer coverage like I didn't expect it to be like foundation but I had gotten a sample of this in one of my magazines and um, used it and I really liked it it smells really nice it smells like all Garnier skincare products it has that kind of fruity kind of smell um, I could see why some people though might be turned off with that but so far I'm liking it. I've only used it once technically twice because of the sample but since I've gotten it it's been once and I got this at Walmart for like eleven dollars I wanna say so it's not too bad for BB cream I know they can be outrageously expensive especially at Sephora they sell them really really expensive there the next product that I got, the last makeup-y type thing, is the CoverGirl Naturelux Mascara. And I originally wanted to get this way back when I got the Naturelux Foundation by CoverGirl, which I love. I love that foundation. I'm actually wearing it today, but it's like worn off because it's so hot here right now. I'm just like sweating all my makeup off, so if my skin's really red, that's why. I didn't touch up my makeup when I got home from work. So, um, but I love that foundation and... Um, I wanted to try this back when I purchased it and I never got around to it. I always had other mascaras open and I was like, you know, when I finish this one, I'll go get that one <laughs> and I never did. So it was just the other night I was watching uh, Holly Anna Ree's Hits and Misses from like April or May, I don't remember what month, the most recent one that she did. I don't know if she for sure did a May one, um, but I love that video that she does every month. I primarily subscribe to her just for that one video a month because I love it. I hear about such great products through her, so she had mentioned that this was actually better, in her opinion, than the Benefits They're Real lash or mascara, and um, the wands are actually really similar. Um, it's like a plasticky type bristle wand, wand, I should say. I got it in very black, and it is very black, and it actually says mousse mas uh, mascara on it, so I don't know if mousse texture means anything. I've used it for a couple days now, and I really love this mascara. It's more of a wet formula, but not so much where it transfers all over the place. It's really an amazing mascara. I really, really love it. She really liked it, and so that's why I wanted to get it. Um, and she compared it to Benefits They're Real, and I've been wanting to try that mascara forever, but it's like $22 or I don't even know. So if that's a dupe for it, I'll just stick with that because I love that mascara. And, um, I actually want to try out more and more drugstore mascaras because I'm kind of tired of all my high-end ones. Not that they're bad, they're just expensive and I feel like for a mascara, you don't need to pay that much for a mascara because there are some great ones at the drugstore, so pick that up. And at Walmart, I don't remember how much that was. I want to say like 7 to $9, I don't even I don't remember. Um, the next thing I got that's interesting is I decided to try the EOS um, shave cream and it's this is in lavender jasmine and you can use this wet or dry which I found really intriguing the scent of it is really amazing I used it um, last night night before I don't remember but um I really like that you can use it wet or dry because I have lazy times where I don't feel like shaving in the shower or whatever so it's easy for me to just shave outside of the shower without water I think that's really nice um, or if you need to do touch-ups or something, if you miss something, you don't have to get in the shower or worry about getting water all over the place when you're doing it in the sink or, you know, something like that. So I really like it so far. It's $2.98 at Walmart, so it's kind of expensive for a shaving cream. But I originally buy Skintimate, which is $2.48, so for $0.50 cents more, I can try this one. So I decided to, and I really, really like it. It's actually a cream. It's not a gel that foams. It's non-foaming, so at first it's kind of hard to get used to, especially if you use it wet. I've never tried it dry yet, but um, when I used it wet, it kind of felt like it washed off because my legs were wet, and so when I put it on, 
it just felt like I was working it in with the water like a body wash almost, but it doesn't foam. So I don't know. It still worked really well and it is really, really moisturizing. Probably the most moisturizing shaving cream that I've used ever. It has um, aloe and shea butter in it, so I mean, my legs were really soft after the shower, even before lotion, so that's saying something. The next product is actually one of my favorite products at the drugstore ever, and it's the body wash by Olay, the Luscious Embrace. And this is, I think it's just Luscious Embrace is the scent, I don't know. Um, it's the purple one, and this is kind of pricey for body wash, it's like five something. Um, but it is so worth it. It smells amazing. It's, oh my gosh, it's just the most beautiful smelling, um, body wash ever. And I actually used this last year a lot and I stopped buying it because it was expensive and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to buy the cheapy stuff. But then my skin's been so dry and I just wanted something luxurious to bathe in. And so, um, I got this body wash and splurged on myself to get it. And it's just really a hydrating body wash. I mean, you don't see like a huge difference, but it does make a difference. My skin feels less dry and it just, the smell alone is what draws me to buy this body wash again and again because I just love it so, so much. So that's that. I definitely recommend this body wash if you need a new one to try. It does go kind of quickly though. So for $5, it's kind of, you know, but it's worth it. Trust me. The last thing I picked up is just some makeup remover. Um, I picked up some other things that are totally unrelated to show you guys. You don't want to see them, so I'm not going to. But this is like the last thing that's really, you know, whatever. I got the Equate one. Um, I don't normally get the Neutrogena one. If they have the Equate one, I'll just buy this because honestly there is no difference between this and the Neutrogena um, eye makeup remover. They're basically the exact same. They're separated the same. Um, you know, the oil well, it's oil-free, but how you shake it and everything. It's my favorite eye makeup remover. I use little cotton rounds to remove my eye makeup with it. It's just what works. I don't use... I do use face, facial wipes every night, but um, I don't use those on my eyes because my eyes are quite sensitive and get irritated with the chemicals or whatever's in the wipes. I've tried all wipes. They just don't remove mascara and they just end up irritating my eyes. So no matter what kind of wipe it is. But this never irritates, and I just really like it. So that's basically the last thing. Um, I'll probably be shopping more at the drugstore for makeup. I want to discover some more things there because they're cheaper. And definitely if you have any drugstore recommendations for mascara at the drugstore, I need to know. So um, yes, any kind of volumizing mascara is kind of my favorite. So any recommendations you have at all for drugstore mascara would be much appreciated. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.